The height that great men attain is not by sudden flight. You have to start from somewhere. There's something in you that must be used to take you to the top. Yeah! Today, you're highly welcome to the continuation of our series on Fashion Billionaires, exactly how they started. I remain Jacquette Tulu and etc., a serial entrepreneur majoring in fashion, and I'm based in Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa. Yeah, grab a cup of coffee and let's go on this discuss as we shall be considering Vicky James. Victoria James, popularly known as Vicky James, is a Nigerian fashion designer and professional makeup artist. And she is a native of a Ibom state in Nigeria, was born on the 9th of June, 1995. This lady is an amazing young lady. Yes, that is doing great in the world of fashion. Her interest in fashion started at her elementary school or primary school when she watched a mom that was a tailor. A mom had a series of workers working with her in a tailoring shop right there in a slumpy area as in a ghetto right there in Nigeria called Ajegunle. So naturally, she developed that interest for fashion and she said, in a primary secondary school, she started making clothes for free for her friends and herself. And she was doing it with passion because she had developed the interest in the work due to the fact that her mom was a tailor. What can you learn from here? The height that great men attain is not by sudden flight. You have to start from somewhere. There's something in you that must be used to take you to the top. It's not necessarily money. Some person say, I need money to start. No. What you need to start is in you. It's just an idea. For Vicky James, it was the art of sewing. What we call fashion designing in Nigeria, but that's not the real essence. So she started... Because her mom was a tailor, she started after that, she started learning how to cut and sew different pieces. And she was making nice pieces that her friends were giving her comments, this is lovely, this is lovely. And that was how she started. So what is that thing that you're good at? Start with that. Not just business, but just like an hobby, what you love doing. And it's going to grow into what will feed you and take you to the top of this industry i know i'm talking to someone and i want to hear about you in the comment section yes let's move on on this discourse vicky james never had a father she was trained by a mom together with her other younger brothers two younger brothers and she went to the university she studied biochemistry but in the end what happened i think she started doing makeup, started, she learned makeup, and she started doing great at it. One thing on her mind was, I don't want to be a, a tailor like my mom. She's not really making it. They are just making different dresses. And yes, she's not making it. Why were they still living in Ajegunle? Ajegunle, for those of you that know in Nigeria, is a ghetto where minority groups live in and all the likes. So, after going to school, she thought of it that for me to be great in this industry, I have to do something differently. And what was the first thing she did? Yes, the first thing she did in order to take a brand away from that of her mom in a localized environment was that she got an apartment in a eyebrow area called Magodo phase one or thereabouts right here in Lagos, Nigeria. Let's pause and learn a lesson from here. If you want to get to the top of the industry, you don't have to do things the old way. You have to think of new ways of reaching your target audience. And mind you, if you're following me and yet you don't know about target audience, you've not identified your niche, I have a video to this effect that can help you. Just check in the description box below. 
you're going to find 16 tips on how you can start a successful ready-to-wear brand. Yes. So you have to discover what you want to become. This lady taught of it that I want to get to the top of the industry and I can't get there while I'm staying in a ghetto area. She gathered, she saved, she did everything, got a great apartment in the eyebrow area of Lagos City. And that was the starting point for her because she already had passion for fashion and she was doing it from childhood. So you can't just be the castle in the air. You're doing nothing and you just want to get there. No, my brother and my sister. No, fellow fashionista. You have to keep at what you're doing. She started this, kept her teeth, started de designing different things and said, I want to take it to another level rented an apartment in Magodo phase one. She was so fortunate and before you know it, she won an award in the year 2019, if I'm not mistaken, she won two awards, one for makeup and one for fashion. And the whole sum of money was about one million naira then. And mind you, the intelligent girl just felt, I'm going to put it into my apartment that I just got. She developed the place made sure the place was well furnished and before you know she started her fashion career yes yeah, she said she actually started the fashion career as a business just about three years ago that was 2019 as a, as that now that i'm speaking this is 2022 so when she started started creating unique pieces being the son of a tailor and she has learned the craft from childhood she her pieces were unique she was a specialist in creating special bombs special apes and the waist will really be tied to the you fitted and she was creating authentic pieces she said she gets her inspiration from god she will just sleep and god will give her inspiration so what is the source of your own inspiration who inspires you what inspires you do you have people you look up to in the industry? Do you cogitate? Do you think at times you look up to God and say, what is that idea you're going to give me? What's that design you're going to give me that will fetch me, that will be my way maker to the top? That design that will be my best seller and will take me to the top. So Vicky James started, she, she rebranded and she got a lot of things into place. She employed, she said she was not good at sketching, so she employed fashion illustrators. And that is it. For you to get to the top of this industry, you can't be the one to do everything. You need the services of others. But you have to major in your strength first. Start with what you're good at. For me, as a person, I am an instructor. I can teach you anything in fashion and you get it. That is my own strength. So I have gotten a team of international tailors that work with me. Then they work with me in my fashion house. I employ different people. And we get to achieve what we want to achieve. So you can't just do it all alone. I work with my guys in the shoe uh, factory. We make our shoes. We have other segments. We make our belts. We have people in, into that. We sell fabrics. We do a lot. We're into photography. We have a team of youth. We are training on photography, videography. We, are, we run a foundation helping the less privileged youth. Just try to do things as in bring a whole lot together that if this is not working at this time, the other will be working. And may I use this to tell you about the product life cycle in management? Yes, PLC of a product. Have you seen a liver brother or all these other companies that make uh, different oil I don't want to talk about? They will introduce different products such that once a product is at its introductory stage, the other will go through the growth stage, the maturity stage, then the decline stage. Before the other one gets to the decline stage, they already have another one that is already going through the growth, the maturity stage, and they're making it just like that. That's how you can leverage also in the fashion industry. I have a lot that you put together such that if this is not selling today, if students are not registering for 
fashion today i'm going to sell fabrics if i'm not selling fabrics today i'm going to have an order for shoes if i don't have order for shoes today just like that i'm going to have people come in for photography and every other thing so you have to enhance the industry so back to vicky james she she started she just she was still uh into her makeup then she started fashion fully and she employed different people. And right now she's styling great people. She said 80% of her client are based outside Nigeria. She's a luxury brand and her wears are ostentatious wears. And she's really doing great. As a young girl, as at now, she's just 27 years and she's really making way in the fashion industry. She had just started. So I think you've learned one or two things from the life of this young girl. She unnessed all that she has and she made a very bold move. She went forward and she just rebranded. She started doing things not the way her mother did it. There was no any money. She attracted the right set of clientele. Yes, and that's it. She got a hit. She started succeeding. And one of the greatest secrets she shared was that she doesn't play with pictures. That if she has 50,000 Naira and she wants to do a photo shoot for 70K, she will go borrow 20K and make up that. If you want to get to the top of this industry, you have to be able to project your work very well with good pictures. If you take crappy pictures, those are the people that will come to you. But professional pictures, when you want to really sell yourself well, they must be pictures that speak well of your brand. Everything you do must be top-notch. By the time you start and you build that image that will be long-lasting, you're going to get to the top and you're going to make it. So, I'll always like to hear your own story. Where are you in the industry? How do you think we can be of help? What is your dream? You may be the trend maker. Vicky James changed the trend when she came in. She started doing all these booze and all these and she loves such and those are just and she uses expensive materials and all the likes and beadings and every other thing so bring something to the forefront of the fashion industry and you definitely get to the top so i believe with today's episode you've been able to learn one thing or the other let me hear about you in the comment section until i come your way in the next episode catch you love you bye bye in the next episode, we're going to be talking about Hubert de Givenchy.